What's going on guys? Coach Matt at YouGoProBaseball.com and I'm actually here in Berlin, Germany with uh, Coach Michael and we're here at the Berlin Brandenburg Baseball Academy camp and this is the last day, day. sad day, I'm going to miss you, yeah, but uh, miss you <laughs> uh, Michael is a great hitter, um, in fact he was a four year league leader in home runs and RBI, triple crown winner. So he's got a lot of great information when it comes to hitting. I kind of want to pick your brain today about power and creating power. What is your philosophy when you get in here? How come, why are you a league leading home run hitter? So to be honest, hitting for power it is coming from the practice. I love to practice. Um, a lot of people feel like uh, tired, boring, but without practice, it's no way you can improve in the game. So, of course, gym, you have to work in the gym, work in the, in, in, in the food. Um, so, back to my power, what I like to do is like, uh, have a good approach. Good approach, so everything is coming from the approach. Have a full of energy, create energy and balance. It's all about balance and trusting the As long as you, you put in the brain like, uh, you can have a good contact, solid contact, everything will come. And uh, yeah. what are some of the things you do in the gym to work on your power? Like what are your most your favorite things to, to, to translate from the gym into your swing to create power? So in, in when I'm going to the gym, I like to work a lot with my legs and with my abdomen, with my back, you know, with my back leg. So that's because I understand for me, all my power is coming from my feet and my hips and my stomach. So I'm always trusting my hands. Have a, you know, quick hands, quick hands, and have a good approach and trust, trust in yourself. You know? so, is your mindset when the, when the pitcher is throwing, is your mindset that you're going to hit a home run every single time? Are you swinging with maximum intent or, or are you just capitalizing on the mistakes he throws or what how like how do you go about it now? great question um i never think about home run because as long as i'm healthy i know i can i can have a good game so it's all about be consistent and be prepared as long as you are prepared what wrong with bomb you know i'm thinking always to get on base driving the ball and move the run and the reason home run is coming double yeah i love double yeah when double is coming home from is coming but she said, I'm so happy when I'm on base. I'm half like a double, single. But as I'm saying, when you have a good approach, everything is come like a single, double home runs. But I never think about home runs. Let me ask you this last question. You seem like a very positive guy, been positive all week. I think it takes a very positive mindset in a game of failure where the best players are failing seven out of 10 times. Uh, what is your process for, let's say you have a bad game, you go, you know, you get the golden sombrero, three strikeouts, yeah. and what is your mindset? Like, how do you, you know, get out of that or get to the next game and, and stay successful over time? What's your, what's your mindset? Another great question. You know, I'm always telling to my mates, to my teammates, uh, hey, when you are awful three, awful four, it doesn't matter. You're going to have one at bat and we can win the game. It's all about one at bat and have a good approach and good solid contact. But you never, when you have like a two strikeout, three strikeout, you just keep doing it. Just like a keep, you, you know, keep happy in the game. Try to have fun with your teammates in the dugout because you're gonna have the chance. But if you're going down mentally, it's no way we can help, you know? And me, I'm this kind of person. I don't care, I don't mind to have like awful, uh, awful four. Even if I have like off of five, I know I think about next day. You know, it's better that next pitch is coming, be ready because I'm going for him. You know, but I'm always confident. Yeah, it's like uh, I love this game because it's so tough mentality. Because mentally, because maybe with like a ninety percent mentality, five percent talent. You know, so it's it's not easy. It's not easy. Timmy, how do you feel right now? Feels okay? 
One thing uh, Michael and I were talking about that we saw was you were doing really well with the with the inside pitch. You had some good swings to the to the pull side and you did some good contact. But what I noticed was when you were starting, you were starting good, but as you started your swing, your chest started to come up. You were you were very connected and short with your swing, which is a great thing. But as you pull your chest up, the bat's gonna follow, right? So if you if you're getting an outside pitch and you start here and your chest starts to come up, you're shortening your bat. So it makes it a lot harder to hit the outside pitch and the outside part of the plate. I think every single ball that you hit was to your to the pull side, this side, right? Yeah. Again, you had some good swings, but if you can work on keeping that chest over, you're gonna stay more athletic, more balanced, and then you're gonna be able to drive more balls up the middle and opposite field. Michael and I were talking before about his approach when he's hitting in the in the batting cages, and he was talking about, uh, tell him what you were saying. Yeah. Uh, so me, when I walk in the batting cage, or even the, even the BP, I, will, I love to go to the right field in my first round. It's just be nice and smooth, then you need to be athletic. You have to be athletic. Lefty up, guys. Let's slide back a little bit. You have to be athletic. What I mean with athletic, you have to be like 70%, 30%. And bend the knee a bit, create some power and some energy. So when you're swimming, the balance will come, you know? Because sometimes you, you open so early. And then when you open so early, you can reach out some, some fish. So you have to control the front shoulder, nice and close, and then Outside pitch, you go here. So look how long. Everything outside. The home plate is here and my bat is there. So I'm going to be available to put the ball on the bottom right there. So now, we're going to work on this. Yeah? So when when he's telling you to focus on the outside part, you know, and being able to hit that pitch, that's very important, especially as you get older, because pitchers are going to recognize yeah, that, exactly. right? And they're going to start to pitch to your weaknesses and try to get you out, right? So if you're a guy that can only hit the inside pitch, they're going to go, okay, all right, we know when, when Big Tim comes up, we're going to live away, away, away. And then you're going to start getting the breaking balls away, away, away. So if you want to be a complete hitter, you got to be able to control, you know, attack every part of the zone and be able to hit every part of the zone. Tell them what you were talking about with the, with the T, how you work the T. Yeah, the even, zone. Even, even with the T, I like to start like a high T, very high, just to get on the top of the ball. So that's going to help you to get loose and then bring some energy for the next round, you know. And then you just bring it down and then I, I start, me, I start like a high and then I'm going low, outside, just to get easy and smooth, driving the ball to the right field, and then I feel it inside. Inside, like you kind of cheat, to bring the game easy for you. So what I mean inside, you work with the front elbow and be available to put the ball on the ball. And still, you have to bring, put in your brain, middle, middle, right, right. I know it's gonna be tough, it's gonna to be tough because you will be, you're gonna pull it, but it doesn't matter. What you're looking for is to put your brain, to connect your brain with the body, Middle right, and that's gonna it's gonna be very important. Not for you, you are puller, you know. Especially for the puller here. Yeah. And that's that's you know the whole part of the zone. That's why he's as successful as he is because he's working that whole part of the zone. But the the main thing is that you're doing this over time. You can't do, you can't do it three days here and then forget about forget it. About you got to work on it, work on it, work on it, work on it as much as you can. The great thing with the teeth is you can do it pretty much anyway, right? But great job, keep it up, all right? Good job. So those are some great tips. Thank, thank you so much. Take it from uh, Michael here. You can learn something really special. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Um, and uh, we'd love to see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Thank you. That was awesome. That was cool.